that don't look like a market salad. The chicken might be a little. Eh. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Welcome to another vlog for Vlogtober. Dirty night. So I just got finished editing today's vlog that is going up. It's edited, uploading as we speak. And I have not, I ate some breakfast this morning. I ate a breakfast sandwich. So what's on the agenda for today? So today, well for one, I'm about to make me some lunch. Also, I'm thinking I want to watch Hocus Pocus tonight. Um, I'm cooking dinner because it's Sunday. I'm preparing for the week today. I need to meal prep today. I need to go to the grocery store to get dinner today. <laughs> so today is Sunday. So y'all know how Sundays go. It's gonna be a little bit different this Sunday though because usually Sundays, you know, I said I wash Kehlani hair, prepare them for daycare tomorrow. But tomorrow is Columbus Day and daycare is closed. Let me tell y'all, my daycare lady, and, and this is no shade to her because baby, I understand. Or they would be a holiday if I had a chance. But she literally closes for any holiday that you could think of. She closed. She, President's Day, Lincoln Day. I was like, Lincoln Day? What is that? Is that President's Day? Maybe I don't know. So yeah, so daycare is closed tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm thinking I'm going to do a Day with the Twins vlog because they're gonna be home and I'm gonna have to watch them. Well, not watch them because they my kids, but y'all know what I mean. We about to make a salad though. So as y'all know, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays. I want me a market salad. I bought the ingredients for a market salad. So we about to make an at-home market salad. Okay, period. So let's get this stuff out of the refrigerator. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Y'all, I thought I picked up Parmesan cheese. I said, I know I picked up blue cheese. But it's right here. Blue cheese. Okay, you guys. All right. So every time I go to Chick Fil A, they always give me um, extra apple cider vinaigrette. So I always have, you know, the vinaigrette just laying around. So I have some of that. And the last time I went, I asked them for extra of the roasted almonds and the extra of the harvest nut granola. Now I know this is a homemade market salad so you know if you want to make this recipe you definitely can buy those items from the store i did see that they sell them in store but i have it already here so why not <laughs> so i have the harvest nut granola right here the roasted almond right here and the apple cider vinaigrette so i took a picture of my salad it's not the best one that I do have a picture of, oh. cause I was like, I just recently, recently, recently discovered the market salad this year. I never, because when I thought of market salad, I'm just thinking a whole bunch of stuff that I don't want. But I just was like, you know what? This, I've been really trying to be intentional on trying new things. So I tried the market salad one day and y'all, when I tell y'all, that was one of the best salads I ever had in my life. That was one of the best salads I ever had in my life. This is the market salad right here. So it has strawberries, it has blueberries, it has spring mix, it has chicken, it has blue cheese crumbles, the harvest nut granola, and the um, roasted almonds. I went in some apples. I went to go get the apples. Oh my goodness. My apples look like they got dinner. Well, they did get dinner up right here. I don't know what happened, but anyway, I got some Fiji apples. This is what I'm gonna use. I have some strawberries, blueberries, blue cheese crumbles, and the spring mix. And you know, I just showed y'all the other stuff. So, I need to make the chicken. I used this yesterday for my, um, if you saw this pan, and because I it, it was showing in one of the frames of when I was putting the chicken on the sandwiches, I had grilled uh, fried chicken yesterday. I mean, I grilled fried chicken, really. I had fried some chicken yesterday. So the cast iron pan was right here. This need to be clean. So let me put this to the side. So y'all know when you go to Chick-fil-A, if you get the grilled chicken filet, 
they have like those little grill marks on it. So I have this pan, so I'm gonna be using this. So I'm thinking I should go ahead and do the chicken first because that probably, you know what? No, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up the, where's my mind? I'm gonna cut up the fruit. I did not wash this off yet though. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. My cutting board is raggedy. It's raggedy, so. Don't judge my cutting board. And one piece of the daggone wood done broke off the day. And then this piece, it ain't even level. So I need a new cutting board for real. I did buy one, but the wood starts smelling. It was stinky. I said, mm, this gotta go. So, okay. So I'm gonna start with, dang, this side coming up too. I'm gonna start with the strawberries. I have like PTSD from using this knife because the very first time I used the daggone knife, I, it was on Easter day, <laughs> the, the first year that we moved in here and I was cooking breakfast for Easter. And y'all, I cut my fingers so bad. I don't even know, you might can still see it. Let me show you. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's like a little circle. You probably can't see it, but it's like a little circle. And the way I cut it, it was like, it wasn't like a cut like this. It was like, but it was a big chunk to the point where it would not stop bleeding. So I had to go to the emergency room and being um, how it was like cut, being that it was like cut like that instead of like that, they couldn't like sew it up or anything. So they pretty much glued it. They glued it to stop the bleeding. And once they glued it, um, they just told me like, you know, pretty much, you know, just let it heal like that. But they were saying, try not to get it wet. And you know, like that's hard to not, I think there's enough strawberries, but it, that's hard to not get get it wet on some dig on um you know like your finger i gotta take showers you know so that was hard so they eventually it eventually fell off oh wait i'm supposed to be doing the damn real lord help me <laughs> oh my goodness i swear trying to create content is frustrating sometimes because it's like Baby, I'm trying to vlog, I'm trying to reel. I just want to eat, okay? But when you have goals that you're trying to do in life, you don't have time, so let me move. <laughs> Cause I need more. But I'm not gonna lie to y'all, sometimes it can be frustrating when you try to just like live your life and you gotta, you're trying to also create content forward for it. It's like sometimes you forget. And I feel like that was, I know I'm talking, but y'all can, y'all see what I'm doing. But um, that was one of the hardest things for me because it was just like, you know, I just felt like I had to think of content to do. And even though sometimes you do have to think of content to do, I seen somebody had posted one time, like the biggest problem of content creators is they try to create a life for content instead of just making content based upon their life. And you know, as I'm just sitting here making me a salad, you know what I'm saying? I won't think about doing a real, but that is a good thing to do for a real because come on now, it's Chick-fil-A market salad. A lot of people like it. <laughs> Baby, I just wanna eat. All right. Can y'all see it still? Oh, you can't really see how raggedy my cutting board is. If you follow me on Instagram, don't tell nobody my my own. <laughs> if, don't, if you watching this on the vlog, don't tell nobody how raggedy my cutting board is. Now my hands ashy. Lord. Let me just wet my hands so they can know. Oh, your hands, maybe they're ashy because you cleaned them. Maybe. 
And I should post it today, huh? And be like, Chick-fil-A is closed, but my kitchen isn't. At home market salad. Chicken is done right here. The grill marks didn't really, if anything, the season and burnt around it, but the grill, I don't see no grill marks. I don't see no grill marks, but what I am. The chicken is done though. That looks so good. I'm so excited! Ooh, bruh. You can't tell me! I'm about to answer the question. Bruh. Go ahead, lie right now, and tell me this don't look good. Tell me that don't look like a market salad. The chicken might be a little, eh. With the, you know, similar to the market style. I ain't talking about the taste. I'm talking about how it look. But, oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I was mad excited. But, I'm about to. <sighs> was anybody on screen telling me, you forgot the blue cheesy vet. You forgot the blue cheesy vet. You forgot the blue cheesy vet. After it's already in my tummy. I forgot the blue cheese. <laughs> Y'all, I got the itis now. I am tired. I'm sitting in front of my uh, a window. That's why it looks like this. But I just made my video go live. I'm about to take. That's a fall on my mouth. I'm about to take a shower. Actually, um, I was gonna create. I was going to cook dinner tonight. But honestly, I'm tired. Like really tired. I've been cooking a lot and just doing a lot. So I really don't feel like it. <laughs> um so i probably will just end up cooking it tomorrow that way tomorrow i could just go and i'm, I'm sitting here being nosy with money because they talk but anyway <laughs> um tomorrow and that's why i'm kind of whispering because i don't want to be like all loud on it right here but because the window open anyway anyway so this is what i'm cooking y'all let me show y'all i'm gonna start it over it's 19 seconds Oh, yeah. 
So that's what I wanted to cook is lasagna rolls, chicken. So it's not like a quick meal, you know what I'm saying? Like I gotta actually put in hand work and I don't feel like doing that. Um, also in that video, he, he doesn't list like the actual ingredients. <laughs> so I tried to make it out, but I really couldn't. So I ended up just buying the recipe. I was like, I'm gonna just support him. I'm gonna buy his recipe, which it was $3.99. So it's not like it was a crazy amount. So I think I'm just gonna cook that tomorrow. I'm about to take a shower like I already said. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight. I don't know, cause I already told my son I was cooking. He gonna be mad if I don't cook, but. Hmm. The twins is downstairs watching Lion King. And then that's another thing. I have to go get my son from um, his dad. So I just don't feel like doing nothing up. Wait, what is this on my hand? That's why I need to take a shower. I just got someone on me. Like, what? Is stuff in my mouth, my hand. Like, what is going on? I just wanted to show you guys what I'm using for the shower because I have mentioned this before in other videos, but I can't stress enough. I have tried different uh, body scrubs, not more so of like I was trying to find something better or didn't want to support my friend no it's just like say for instance i don't i'm in a store and i just pick up a different scrub i just pick it up but nothing has compared to hers this is the whipped body scrub whipped body scrubbed and the fragrance eucalyptus mint and then i'm going to follow it up with the whipped body butter same fragrance it just leaves your skin so soft honestly if i didn't even want to put nothing on after i use this like any it just would be cool because it's like it just make your skin so moisturized so that's what i'm about to use y'all i'm back home i am when i say i'm so tired i'm so tired i don't know if y'all can see it on my face but i'm exhausted but <clears throat> i ended up buying everybody food out so when I went to go pick up Noel from his dad, they were at like some type of sports. I guess you want to say bar, but you know, he was there. So it wasn't somewhere where you could watch football games. So he got food from there. I got the twins, nuggets and fries from McDonald's. And then I got me and Elijah, a um, subs from Wawa. I don't know if you have Wawa where you were at, but Wawa. <laughs> so I got my sub, which I'm probably not even eat the whole thing. And then some salt and vinegar herbs chips. These are the best. But what I can say is with these chips, you got to find the right batch. Because some of them don't be, it don't be having the salt and vinegar. It be just tasting like some Lay's. But when you get that right batch that's so tangy that, ooh, your tongue be burning. They the ones. The twins already ate and they are laid down. I have to edit a, um... The real for my podcast, which I'm dreading because it's not as easy as like just editing the, the real I did earlier with my salad because this is long. This is 40 minutes. So I literally have to listen through the whole thing and figure out what parts I want to keep. I love me down, but I don't want to watch the same video myself. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times. Let me put my bonnet on, y'all. I'm already irritated. Every, I told y'all, every time I come in the house, I got to put my bonnet on because I hate being... I, the head, look, just move on my way. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. So, while I'm doing that, I'm going to watch Hocus Pocus so I can have something to keep me up because I'm tired. And I won't fix me a drink, which probably won't help. It'll probably make me more sleepy. I might or I might not even finish editing the whole reel, but, you know, sometimes, like, when I get invested in it, and being that I love creating content, like the sleepiness go away. So we shall see. Yeah. Why did my eight year old come downstairs with these pants on? Sir. I know the us to wear. <laughs> you got plenty of pants in your drawer. Plenty. Pants or shorts? You got pants and shorts in your drawer. I know. So why you didn't choose them? I got two pants out of one. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. You can choose whatever you want, honey, when it come down to your whatever you want to wear to sleep. Whatever make you comfortable. If your ankles be hot, be my guest. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. <laughs> so it's this piece that have to go into my iPad for me to get the footage from my podcast. I left it upstairs and I ain't going upstairs. <laughs> if I go upstairs, I'm staying upstairs and I'm going in the bed. So I ain't going upstairs.
There we go. We are about to watch you guys. I'm gonna let y'all know how it go. I hope it's good. I haven't really been hearing people talk about it online though. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I woo, just got upstairs. I finished the movie. It was good. I liked it. Um, it was bittersweet because, spoiler, spoiler alert, the Sanderson sisters pretty much at the end of it, they left forever, you know. But I think that they're gonna continue on the series with, I like how it integrated the old Hocus Pocus with, you know, modern day, what's going on nowadays, you know, like just things that's, you know, like technology that's going on nowadays. So it was like these three teenagers in the movie and I feel like they are gonna pretty much like continue on the Hocus Pocus um, story because one of the girls, was found out she was a witch but they're not sisters they're just like best friends i don't know but i feel like that's how they're gonna carry it on but i feel like the sanderson sisters did an amazing job with um the movie because you know they are older now like this this movie came out 30 years ago so for them to have a sequel 30 years later they did amazing like to me you couldn't even tell that you know what I'm saying? They age 30 years. They look the same. I mean, I won't say they look the same because I haven't watched the first one in a while. But they just did good. Especially with, with their age of what it is. Like, one of them is like 76 or something. So, they did good. But I'm about to take my Goalie Ashwagandha gummies. I talked about this before on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, follow me. All things events on Instagram and these are really good with sleep. The only thing that I have been noticing, I, I don't like when they get like, when I get low on it and they kind of like stick to the bottom. So I gotta put it upside down for a little bit. But the only thing that I will say that has been bothering me with these is that it makes me sleep so good to the point where I don't wanna wake up early. Like I be trying to wake up at five o'clock and I can't wake up at five o'clock because these be having me not i need to get some good sleep tonight because i am tired but before i do that i am going to finish editing my reel you guys because i have really been like keeping my promise to myself to just do better when it comes to my content which i'm proud of myself because before i was just so in my head that i really wasn't creating content and now i'm like putting up reels doing my vlogtober like I'm proud of myself because I was so in my head for the longest. So I'm about to sit here and edit and then we're going to go to sleep. Don't take it personal, I ain't lying. Hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying I've been trying to get my weight up Staying prayed up Meditating and taking time away You always posting the pictures Trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be
guys hold on wait <laughs> this episode was so good that i cannot make this into one reel because first of all let me tell you okay so instagram they did change it to where now they're in the, what they used to consider as the igtv where you can have longer videos um versus the reels they all boiled it down to reels but i definitely i have experimented where i did upload a reel that was longer than a minute and 30 seconds and i feel like it really didn't get that many views so i feel like even with like when i upload my reels for me to only have like 1100 or so followers oh my goodness my camera recorded for me to have only 1100 and something followers i really feel like that i get a lot of views on my reels but i feel like with that reel i only got like 300 views but it was like longer than a minute and 30 seconds so i feel like the a minute and 30 second ones they definitely like push those out i'm gonna have to chop this jank down into multiple reels and just post it over the course of days until like just to promote it because baby this conversation was too good if you have not to went to go view this podcast please go watch it listen to it whatever you got to do just y'all this was good so i'm gonna have to chop this down into multiple reels i'm not gonna be able to do that tonight because it's gonna take more time so you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog out now i'm talking fast because my camera is blinking i love you guys i will see you tomorrow